I want you to know we are seated before Jesus. And Jesus is sitting also with us. Hallelujah. And he will want to teach, to teach us his own word. So receive the word from God personally. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's bow our head for prayer. Divine Father, we are seated before you and we are blessed. You know us. You know your plan for our lives. You have spoken so many things to us. It appears there is delay. As many people think. But you are speaking to assure us. Thank you for assuring us. Thank you for assuring us that it is well. Amen. I love Amen. you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, your children Amen. will be revived. They will be strengthened. They will believe you, Lord. Today, the weak shall be strong. The discouraged shall be energized. Thank you. Your children will be glad. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The definition of faith. The definition of faith. In Hebrews chapter 10. I read from verse 38. Then to Hebrews chapter 11. Now, the just shall live by faith. Now, whatever is the condition now, the just shall live by faith. Now, by the information you have had, by the information that is spreading, the just shall live by faith. Now, by reason of the challenge that is facing you, the just shall live by faith. Now, by reason of the discovery that has been made by the reason of the sickness that has been diagnosed. Now, the just shall live by faith. Now, that you can see nothing that all hope is gone. The just shall live by faith. So now speaks about the condition you are 
at this time. Now speaks about the state you are in at this time. It is saying, despite the state you are in, the condition you are in, you can live, you will live. <laughs> Praise the Lord. A story was told of a man of God that was driving in full speed and he didn't know that a vehicle had had an accident and was lying across the road. It was in a bend, it was in a bend. He just suddenly discovered this vehicle. The normal thing is I'm gone. I am gone. In such a state, the Bible says, the just shall live. At the point you think you are gone, at that point, the word of God is saying, you shall still live. The man closed his eyes. Jesus, that name. That wonderful name. There's no other name like it. What he noticed is he was on the, he had crossed, his car had crossed the car that was lying across the road. He saw himself driving continuously in his journey. How did I cross this? Faith, faith. I say you will cross your boundary by faith. Whatever is bounding you, you will cross over by faith. Amen. Yes. Consider the situation of Jesus. Multitudes, 5,000 men beside women and children were with him in the mountain for three days. He said to send them away, they would faint. What is it? Something has to be given to them to eat. He called Philip, what can we give to these people so that they may eat? Philip said, 300 pen, penny worth of bread cannot suffice them. There were so many. 3,000 dollars of bread cannot feed them. Go around and check what is happening. One said, I saw somebody with five loaves and two fishes. Jesus said, bring it. Cause the people to sit down in fifty. Now, the just shall live by faith. He lifted up the bread to God and blessed it. And began to break the bread and gave to the disciples. Who also went to be given to the people? All of them ate. And the remaining was 12 baskets 
of fragments. Now, in your monist, in your poverty state, you will live. Faith will make you survive. Ah, oh, no. Out of job, you will live. Amen. Amen. By faith. Amen. Amen. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Who is speaking? It's God. I want you to, I love it when you are in a condition of challenge. It's time I demonstrate myself. It's the, it's the right time I manifest myself. The Bible says when my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord takes me out, takes me over. When situations of situations of well-being forsake you, it is time the Lord comes and takes you over. When discouragement surrounds you, is the time God in his comforting powers comes in and takes you over. Why are you so frightened when you are challenged? Don't you know that challenging time is time God appears? The wind is blowing boisterously. It was the time they saw Jesus walking on water toward them. Yes, this is your time that Jesus would appear to you, interfere in your situation. A woman was crying in the garden, weeping because of the great love she had encountered. Then, made, then Jesus met her. I said, woman, what are you crying about? And she didn't know it was Jesus. She said, oh, master, that's talking about the land, um, the owner of the garden. Where have they laid him? He, what was she looking for? Jesus that had been buried. They couldn't see him in the grave. Where have they taken him to? She was crying. Jesus asked, woman, what's the problem? Her problem was that she couldn't see where the dead body of Jesus was. But the living Jesus was the one talking with her, meeting her in her morning state. And then said, Mary, oh, that's the voice of my master. Her understanding came back to, to herself. This is Jesus. Yes. That is Jesus indeed. That is walking in the time of your soul. That has made appearance to you in your morning state. That has come to you in your discouraged state. And is coming to tell you that discouragement has nothing. He has come to heal you, heal you up. He has come to, to bind you up. He has come to give you hope. He has come to open your eyes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And so he said, but what's happening to you? The problem is, remo- is moving you backward. Problem came in upon your life and you want to withdraw? Something strikes you, you're going to complaining, into ch- rebuking God, challenging God, denying him. Don't you know the light shines brightest when it is darkest? What's the purpose of the torchlight in your heart? That you face darkness. You're sitting in darkness. Is the light then not brightest? Did you forget the light in your hands? that it will show you the way in darkness. Is Jesus not the light of your life? In times of your darkness, is he not, should you not look to him for light? Is he not interested to, to show himself most? Why don't you see see it this way? That's why he said, you are offending him by thinking negatively in times of trouble. By taking negative actions in times of trouble. You are offending the Lord. You are offending your God by confessing negatively. You are not doing well. You are affecting yourself in your condition by considering to go back. By considering to go back. By considering to withdraw. By considering to give up. You are not doing well. That's why he is saying, if you go back, you won't see him. He he, he will not have pleasure in you. If any man, a leader, a pastor, a coordinator, goes back, he will forsake that person. He will not have interest in him. <coughs> he, will, <clears throat> he will not have interest in him. There will be nothing in that person that will attract you. Lord, why would you manifest yourself unto us and not unto the world? He said, he that loveth me now keepeth on my commandment. How will I go and manifest myself to him? But he that keepeth my commandment, it is he that loveth me. I will love him and will manifest myself to him. But the one that has turned back from my commandment, loveth me now. How will I manifest myself to the world? To sinners, to rebellious people, manifest my glory. Manifest by power, that will be for judgment. But the just, I will manifest myself to him. The righteous, I will manifest myself to her. He shall see me. He shall see me in such a condition. 
That's why it's warning you concerning drawing back. In verse 39, but we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. We are not of them that draw back unto perdition. Perdition is for those that draw back. Is God then interested in perdition? If he was interested in your perdition, could he tell you, don't go, don't draw back? Could he rebuke you for drawing back? If the Lord was interested in your perdition, in your destruction, in your death, in your disaster, would he be warning you against drawing back? Surely no. Surely no. Surely no. So we are not of them that draw back onto perdition. What has happened to those people that draw back? Come. What happened to Opa, the mate of Ruth, who drew back? Is she in heaven now? She had the privilege to go with Naomi to the people of God and be identified with them because she had the calling. She was called from her idolatrous people to the people of God. What a privilege. A few people are testifying, oh, bless God for bringing me to holiness of our movement. Bless God. The little thing you're drawing by. Little thing, little, 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 little. Oh, somebody offended me. Ah, I have prayed and God didn't answer yet. Ah, and then you're drawing by. You're not coming to meetings again. You're not valuing this thing again. You're drawing back. After you have tested the goodness of the Lord, the Lord said he won't, he won't be happy with you. He will not, he will not send good things to you, to you. He will remove your name from his book. He will stop the privileges of your life. The good that is on the way to you, he will seize it. You have gone. You have resigned from the job. You have resigned from the company of believers. You have resigned from the world, from the kingdom of God. So why counting you in, counting you in the number? Children's bread should not be given to dogs. You have gone back. Opa has gone back to her people and to her gods. You have gone back to Hollow Tree. You have gone back to evil character, evil behavior. You have gone back to immorality. You have gone back. And God also has left you. Because Perdition is for them that draw back. But I represent you as Paul the Apostle represented us and shouted, We are not of them that draw back unto perdition. So I represent you and I shout, We are not of them that draw back unto perdition. No. We are not of those people. We can't hear the word of God like this and be drawing back. 
We can come to a holiness movement like this and be drawing back. We can belong to a, 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 a people like this, having entered into the ark and is and coming out. We are not of those people. I've said you are not going to draw back. I've spoken to God for you that you will not draw back. Amen. Amen. I am assuring God Amen. for you that you will not draw back onto partition. Amen. 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 I am I, I am speaking confidently that you will still be, be, in, be in God, in Christ. In the tomorrow of life. Amen. That's wonderful. So please prove it before God that I was right. Justify my words before God. Stand strong. Your challenge is for faith. Faith will see you through it. Then we are not of them that draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Of them that believe to the saving of the soul. This belief is a continual thing, not positionally, but continually, not an act only, but acts, not an action only, but Actions. We are of them that believe. Unto the saving of our souls. We believe today. We believe tomorrow. We believe this year. We believe next year. We believe this uh, in 10 years. We believe in 20. We believe until our soul leaves this earth and enters heaven. Amen. Unto the saving of our souls. The Bible says he was in the world. The world was made by him. And the world knew him not. He came into his own. And his own received him not. But as many as received him. To them gave he power. To become the sons of God. That's positionally. That is an act. Action completed. But then. To tell you that that action. Must be. A regular thing in your life. The Bible says. Even as many as believe. In his name. Believe there is present tense. Received is past tense. As many as received him, he gave them power. Even as many as believe in his name, believe present tense, that power continues with those that believe. And that belief must be dynamic, must be operative, must be constant. That's why we are not of them that draw back onto perdition, but of them that believe onto the saving of our souls. You don't believe only in one act because the Lord did something good for you. Ah, Jesus is good. And then because 
you feel dry, you say, oh, no, no, that's not what we're talking about. Constant in pain and in peace, in brightness and in darkness, in blessing as well as in the blues of Satan. You are a Christian. Because the roads of life go down the valley, climb the hill, go down the valley, climb the hill. That's how the roads of life are. Sometimes you feel dry, sometimes you feel high. Sometimes, oh, God is beautiful because all things look good immediately to you. Other times, God, where are you? You need that. The rains don't fall every day. The tree does, the trees don't get don't produce fruit every day. Time for fruition, time for leaves only, to teach you patience of life, to teach you waiting period. That is life. Time to sleep and never walk. Time to go and walk and never sleep. Ways of life. But that is progress. It's progress. Time you can speed. Time it gets, the vehicle gets slow because climbing a hill or because it is in uh, a traffic jam. Ways of life. Why don't you understand this? And continue your belief. And be constant in your belief. Yes. Hebrews chapter 11. The definition of faith. Now. Faith is the, is the substance of things hoped for. Whom is the Lord talking to? I'm talking, the Lord is talking to the man challenged. The man the Lord has said he shall live. The man has the man the Lord says shall live by faith. What is this faith? As you are standing there now with that challenge, see across the sea. See across the barrier and see that I shall cross this place. I shall overcome this matter. I shall come out of this sickness. That's faith, that's faith, that's faith. My situation shall not continue. I shall be over there. I shall realize the thing I am looking for. Yes, faith is the substance of things hoped for. You are seeing it as reality. I'm coming out. Why are that car art thou cast down, oh my soul? That's the soul facing challenge. That's the soul facing attacks. That is the soul facing discouragement. That is the soul that has had a bad news. That is the soul that has made, has made a discovery. Discovery of fear. That is in despair. Why art thou cast down, O oh my soul? Why art thou disquieted within me? Why are you restless? restless? Why are you looking confused? Hope thou in God. Put your hope and see the other side of life. I shall yet press him. Who is the health of my countenance? 
faith. Hope down in God. I will praise him. I will stand before him. I will cross this situation. Job said, I know my Redeemer liveth. That's faith. That's faith. Though wounds consume this body, I shall see him. My eyes shall see him. And my eyes, not another eye, I shall see the Lord. That's what the Lord said I should tell you. Have that type of resolute mind. You will see him again. Amen. Be confident. The Lord will come. Amen. Have faith, the Lord will come. Faith will give you substance. Faith will give you evidence. Faith makes you see as if it is done already. You're touching it. Faith makes you convinced that it shall be so. Finish. The just shall live. <laughs> the just shall live. The just shall live. That is it. See a cross. See the sight of life. Hop down in God. Believe that what God has been saying is like that. I trust God helping us next week. We shall enter in more to tell you what faith has done in people's lives. See a cross. You're lying down in the, on the hospital bed. In, see yourself walking. I shall arise and walk. Rejoice not over me, O oh my enemy. Though I fall, I shall rise. Faith. Though you see me lying down, I shall walk, I shall arise and walk. Have that heart in you, that belief in you that is not speaking of now. Calling those things which be not as though they were, but the situation now is of challenge. The situation now is a challenging situation. The situation now is a dry situation. The situation now, the enemy is singing hallelujah, they have overcome. But faith says it's a lie. It's a lie. Samson said to his people, Time me with the robe and deliver me to them. I shall come back. I know the Philistines looking for your trouble. All because of me. Please time me yourself and give me to them. Let them carry. I'm coming back with, with testimony. You are coming out with testimony. Amen. I say you are coming out with testimony. Amen. 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 Those Amen. are forced to surround me in this. Will I be, will I be confident? My Amen. faith is confident. Amen. I'm coming out. Amen. I lay my, my, my head in hope and I shall arise. Amen. That, that, that spoke of Jesus concerning his death. He said, I will arise. I am lying, I'm laying my I'm lying my head in hope in the grave, and I know I will rise. The Lord wants me to tell you, brother, you will rise. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. That situation, the Lord is sending a message to you that it shall change. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Confess it. Amen. We believe, so have we spoken. By faith and Speak what you have believed and let the devil hear. Thank you, Lord. Let the devil hear that whatever he is doing now, you are coming out of it. You are just like Samson that was bound and given to him. It's only your, uh, you are when you are coming out, you will be giving us testimony what happened to Satan. We are not careful to answer you according to this matter, O King Nebuchadnezzar. If you throw us into the fire, our God will deliver us. So, if you believe in this, where is discouragement? Why? Why downcast? Why? Why despair? Since the thing will change. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Yes, I understand. I understand your case. The thing is that you are uncertain of time. When the change will come. You are uncertain. If the period is getting longer and worries have come into it. I understand where you are like that. But the Lord says, I'm telling you, I should say the vision is yet for an appointed time. Faith has time. It shall happen according to the time of faith. For the Lord said to Sarah, according to the time of life, Faith has time. So within that time, since it is still the time, faith is still coming, is still doing its work, don't allow doubt to come into your mind. He that shall say to this man, be thou removed. And be thou cast into the sea. While the tree is still carrying the green leaves, he shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that what he said shall come to pass. He shall have. Who will give him? God will give him. The forces of life will give him. He shall have whatsoever he said. Though the fig tree, the leaves were still there, but the world has proceeded. No man shall eat fruit of thee henceforth forever. Let's go. The wind is still blowing the leaves and they're still laughing around about the fig tree. But the morrow, when they came, Master! <laughs> See, the fig tree whom thou cursest is wither. Have faith in God. The situation that appears not to change shall change. Although it appears not to be changing now, it shall change. Though it tarry, wait for it. It shall surely come. It shall surely bring results. Amen. It shall surely manifest. But it has its own time. Wait for it. It shall surely come and it shall not tarry. Amen. What happens to the time of faith? The Bible says, and what God does in the time of faith in chapter 10 of Hebrews, I read verse 35. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Who 
which had great recompense of reward. 36. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. The time, the interval between the believing and the receiving is the time fated. And within that time, God is doing something in your life. God is fashioning something in your life. God is cooking something in your life. God is cooking your life. God is, 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 is forming you, translating you. God is putting some reflections in your life. God is doing some things, is doing some turnover in your life. In the time of faith, he's doing the will of God. He's doing his own will. He's conforming you to his own will, to perfect you in his own will. Because that circumstance was given, that delay was given because there is going to be a renovation. That is why, that is why, that is why some equipments have to be changed. That's why they told you the need for it's not working now. But sorry, uh, the uh, sorry, the line is not working now because uh, we're doing something about it. So God is doing something about your life. That is why it has not happened. So don't cast a with a great faith that has great blessing that can bring you out of the grave, that can bring you out of the fire, that can bring you down the mountain. Yes, roll out that mountain. Yes, climb you on top of the mountain of God. Don't cast away that faith. It's a treasure. The delay is because God is doing something in your life. The delay is because God is achieving something in someone. Therefore, don't cast away that faith. It's a, don't, don't cast away that confidence in God. You will receive the promise. It, Abraham received his own after 25 years. Zachariah and Elizabeth received his, their own, we cannot tell the number of years. But when it comes, it, it does not show delay. You will regret if you have gotten Ishmael before Isaac comes because of restlessness. Because Ishmael will have no meaning. It's not part of plan. It's an obstacle. It will affect you. All because you, you think that God is delaying. The delay is for your good. You are too conscious of human beings. That's why you want to, eh, I am ashamed. Oh, ashamed of who? He that believes in God shall not be ashamed. You are conscious of what human beings will say. Is it God or men? Will you please God or please men? If I shall yet please men, then I am not a servant of Christ. You have no business with any man, but with the God that created you. The God that you believe in. Follow his plan. Follow his way. <laughs> he has chosen you. And he can use you the way he wants. He can put you in any state he desires. You have a vehicle. You take it to any, any state you want. You move your vehicle to any department of, of any department, any faculty. All is your will you want to achieve. The vehicle should not say no. Don't say no to God. So why do you bother because of people? That's why you're having your problem. That's why Satan is using, using your thoughts to cause you to draw back. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. 
you see it as if you you can it's, it's a physical thing you can touch but you're coming out of that place is assured be assured of it as if you can touch it the evidence of things not seen it has not yet happened speak of it as if it has happened Come, let me show you a natural way a man speaks and a man demonstrates faith. Uh, I am going to, the man is speaking to someone. I'm going to travel to London next week. And uh, in London, I will be visiting uh, this other place. And uh, I will also want to see uh, there's a man there that I want to see. I will be seeing the man uh, towards the end of the week. Uh, then uh, there's something I want to check up uh, in this other place. You see, the man has not gone there, but the evidence of things not seen. He is so sure he will be there, so why not meet his plans? He's so sure he will go in there. Why not make his plan? This is a man in the world that is not aware of changing weather condition that can stop the flights from moving. It does not count the changing weather condition. He does not consider it in his own thoughts and plans. How much more you that are serving a God that has not changed? The rock that does not fail. The rock. How will you not count it down based on him because he says so and because you believe it? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God told you that it shall be well with him. Did I tell you testimony last Monday? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. The woman was speaking to me today. She said, in her own challenge and condition, the Lord had been speaking to her. I'm going to take away this trouble from your life. I'm going to take away this shame from your life. The Lord gave her promises. He said the Lord took her to the book of Isaiah, gave her a promise there. The Lord took her to another book, and to the book of what? Gave her a promise. She got this promise. My God will see me through. He said that he would do it. <laughs> he said he would do it. But the time of faith was a time in which her testimony will be heard in America. And God will be glorified worldwide by him, by her. The time of faith. Be peaceful. It will be in a great time. When the name of the Lord will be remembered over your life, your name the name of the Lord will be attached to your life and the people of the world shall hear. They that hear shall laugh over me. Peace to your heart, daughter of the Most High. Your father has planned a time to manifest himself. Hold tightly. Cast not away your confidence. Man of God, the promise will come to pass. Cast not away your confidence. That has great recompense of the world. Great recompense of the world. In conclusion, the Bible says in verse 2, <laughs> Hebrews chapter 11, For by it the elders obtained a good report. All those people that you had 
in the scripture that received testimony of righteousness. It was by faith they got it. It's by this exercise of faith that testimonies came forth. Is by this exercise of faith, their relevance was seen and written down in scripture. Their names pop up from the crowds. It's by this exercise of faith, the elders obtained a good report. Is it Noah? His faith. Enoch is faith. Abraham is faith. Isaac, it is faith. Jacob, it is faith. Sarah, it is faith. Joseph, it is faith. Moses is faith. Joshua is faith. Samuel, it is faith. David, it is faith. The prophets, it is faith. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is faith. It's faith. Hey, how on you will bring forth a child, you won't meet with me. Let I behold the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be unto me according to thy word. Faith. By it, the elders obtained a good report, good testimony. The testimonies you see in scripture is faith. God is raising up more elders in contemporary world. And these are people that can manifest faith in the challenges of life. There are people that will use faith to cross the sea. There are people that will use faith to pull down the mountains. There are people that will use faith to slay the giants. Believe in God, it shall be so. It shall be even as it is told. Blessed is she that believeth, for it shall be even as it was told you. I'm so happy you have received the word of faith. I'm so happy you have renewed yourself to walk the walk of faith. I'm so happy you have encouraged yourself to wait for the time of faith. I'm so happy, and I believe God with you, that you know that it shall come to pass. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah! The Lord is great. Amen. Amen. Joseph in prison. Amen. Amen. Joseph interpreted the dream to Pharaoh's servant. He said, Remember me when it shall come to pass. Because of faith, he knew that the interpretation he gave to that chief. Uh, chief uh, butler was coming to pass that he was going to be restored back to the throne, back to Pharaoh to do back to do the work again. For him. Remember me when it shall come to pass, because I know it will come to pass. Thank you, Father. Joseph, I'm sorry. Jo uh, uh, Joseph, when he was dying in Egypt, knew certainly that the Lord will remove his children from Egypt and said, Ye shall carry my bones from here. Don't leave my bones in Egypt. 
He knew they would be going because the Lord said so. And the Lord has spoken good concerning you. <laughs> the Lord has spoken good concerning me. I know that it shall be so. I know that it shall be so. I know it shall come to pass in Jesus. Amen. Don't leave my bones behind. I don't know the time of faith. I am dying now. I don't know when it shall come to pass. I don't know how long. I don't know how short. But I know that you are living this place. Wow. God is involved. God is involved. Thank you. The elders obtained a good report. By faith. By faith. By faith. You will obtain a good report. Amen. We shall hear good testimony about Amen. 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 Thank God. To you, this message is coming as a reproof because you started shaking. So it comes as a reproof. While to the other, this message comes to establish you in the faith and tell you that, did you not bring difficulty before the Lord? Stand in faith and wait for the time of manifestation of salvation. Because you had well that God answers prayers. You had it very well. He really does, but wait for him. Thank you. My brethren, let's go before the Lord in prayer. I want you to renew your strength. I want you to rejoice in God. Bless you, worship. Faithful Father, faithful Creator, faithful Savior. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me strength. Thank you for giving me Thank you for holding me. Thank you for strengthening me. Thank you for giving me strength. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.
it. Quick 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 it.
the time of faith. As for God is ready, and you say you are ready now. Yes. The time of faith, it will, it will show up. Everything will continue. Amen. Thank you, Father. Just lay hand upon yourself. Worship you, Jesus. I'm very grateful that you have Amen. renewed the faith of the children. Amen. They have come back to believe. The strength to re, they have renewed the strength to believe. To increase the gear on their belief that it shall be as you have said. It shall yeah. be as it is laid in their heart. It shall yeah. be as they have believed you. It, it shall be as you have promised. They have come up to faith and are standing now. No more lying down. Now you two are faithful. I'm appreciating you. I'm seeing a bride and a bridegroom just waiting for the wedding day. Hey, bless God, what a day we shall watch the bride and the bridegroom in their wedding. And we are the friends of the bridegroom. We shall rejoice at the, at the voice of the bridegroom as he rejoices in the fate of the bride. Jesus, you will perform it for them. Amen. You will do it for them. Amen. It will be a celebration. Testimony shall be had. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Your name will be glorified. Hey, thank you, Father. Thank I you. will hear of their testimony and rejoice. God Amen. bless you. Thank you. Just touch them, refresh them, renew them. Amen. Pour your oil upon them. Amen. Holy Ghost, move in their life. Amen. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Ah, God bless you, everybody. Amen. 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 We'll continue our study on faith next week. Just make sure you're around. You will achieve your desire. Amen. Amen. Hurimo is a non-denominational ministry given to the propagation of God's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, conferences, and the production and spread of holiness literature and materials. Pastor Paul Ricke has been mandated to raise up this great work as the international director, an anointed teacher of holiness with divine inspiration. He is the author of over 30 Christian books and many hundreds of recorded messages that can be found on the YouTube channel. Connect with us on YouTube and Facebook. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide Horimo is promoting biblical truth, righteousness, and holiness. Please join us every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time with the Zoom meeting ID 425-964-7780 or every Monday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time ID 989-988-2681. To hear the undiluted word of God from Pastor Paul Ricker, the International Director of Horimo. The address of Horimo North America is 3776 Piney Mountain Road, Walnut Cove, North Carolina, 27052. You can telephone us on 336-251-4626 or email us at horimona at gmail.com. You can also visit the website at www.horimona.org. Welcome to Holiness Revival Movement, promoting holiness and righteousness worldwide.